So welcome back to part 12 of the best mods to use in Lethal Company, starting with probably my favorite mod of 2024 so far, which is called the Control Company. This allows you to control any monsters that is available in the current map. For example, on this map, I can control the Giant and Bamboo Hawk. And yes, you can kill other players as well. Now this mod actually gives you three main controls. The first one is the usual player mode. While in player mode, you can press F1 to change into the next mode called Ghost Mode. Or you can press O or P to switch targets, aka another player, to determine where your next spawn enemies will be at. Now if you change into Ghost Mode, this is where you'll be able to roam around the map without being seen just like you are invisible. Your body will stay still however, so do take precaution on that. You can always go back to your body again by pressing escape. Now while you're in ghost mode, you can select any monsters you want to spawn as, as long as it makes sense on the map. For example, I can play as the Nutcracker only inside the facility, and the forest giant can only be played outside. While you're a monster, you can actually use their skills as well if they have any. For example, as a jester, you can wind up to transform yourself. These are currently the monsters that you can transform into as of right now. However, the creator is focusing on expanding this mod into an even bigger project. Now if you don't want to wait for other monsters, you can always press 0 to enter extended mode which gives you an opportunity to play experimental monsters. Now as if this mod isn't crazy enough, this is a host only mod. Yep, you heard that right. Nobody else in the server needs to install this mod for it to work which creates massive surprises for everyone else if you do wishes. For example, I transformed myself into a baboon hawk and everybody was very confused on why this baboon hawk is actually in the ship. Now do note that this mod only works if you are the host, so you need to create your own lobby for this one to work. But overall, definitely deserves a spot in my top 3 mods of all time. Now while the control company mod was amazing, the rest of the mods on this list is as well, such as the symbiosis mod. As the description says, this mod enhances the dynamics of lethal company by increasing interactions and dynamics among monsters, items and players. A few examples are hoarding bots are now able to use items such as horns and shovels at random times. Another feature is that it also spawned flies over dead bodies after approximately a minute after death. Just a really cool detail to add to the game's environment. There are more features but I'll leave it for you to find out for yourself. I would highly advise to pay close attention to this mod as the creator aims to add more features into it. This is a client-sided mod so it only works for those who installed it. Now we'll get into the quality of life mods which most of you enjoyed in my previous videos. Starting with the Terminal Extras mod. This is a very simple client-sided mod that adds 4 new commands to the terminal. Type in door if you want the door of the ship to open or close. Type in teleport to activate all teleporters in the ship. Type in lights to toggle the lights on and off in the ship. And type in launch to automatically pull the ship's lever to either land or take off from a moon. Super super simple mod, but I know that this will help those who are enthusiastic about having more control as someone who loves playing as a ship's operator. Next up is one of my favorite mods as well, which is the item drop cycler. Again, a very simple client-sided mod that gets the job done. This allows you to automatically switch to another item whenever you drop what you are currently holding. This will fix the issue of dropping an item and immediately becoming empty-handed, which can be pretty annoying at times. I would highly suggest for you to get this mod. Next up, the Jetpack Warning mod. Now some of you may or may not like this mod, but for those of you who do, it has a visual and audio indicator to indicate how hot the jetpack is before it actually explodes. This is a client-sided mod so it only works for those who installed it. Now remember, if you want to keep the surprise, maybe you don't want to get this mod. But if you want to make things easier for you and you want to enhance the UI of the jetpack, go ahead and try this one out. Now I have so many more mods that I want to share with you so subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. And while you're still here, click on these videos right now to check out some of the mods that you are currently missing out on. I'll see you there.